all farmers welcome back to the pacific northwest watching francine taking care of the weeds in our big cotton field does she look like a francine sure she could be francine uh yeah she's in lower plateau on the east side the big cotton field kind of waiting for her to kind of finish so i can speed up the day a little bit more um well if you look at the forecast uh someone actually asked me in a comment in an old video a little while ago they're playing in the pacific northwest does it ever rain uh look at my forecast uh it says it's gonna rain here well in the next four hours Hopefully it just rains overnight, so I'll wake up in the morning, no rain. Uh, meanwhile, $630,000 so far I've got. I'm still selling eggs. Uh, the eggs right now I'm selling for $2,948. Let's just look at the market, be easier. Uh, is it $2,948? Yes, $2,948 per. I got two more pallets of eggs to sell. Uh, I've been noticing the wool is going up as well. I got a good amount of wool. Uh, everything else I got that I could sell, the price is uh, uh, not not the greatest. Uh, I am watching the sunflower price because remember we load up the Wilson trailer, uh, seven ninety four and rising. So I'm I'm liking that quite a bit. So I'm waiting for that as well. But like I said, I'm waiting for Francine to finish uh, weeding down here, so I can advance to the days. I just don't want stage two weeds to kind of pop up here, and then I got to do it with herbicide. Uh, in the morning, yeah, it looks like we're going to be over here. Well, depending on the rain, whenever that stops. Uh, fields 25, 26, 27, that's all cotton. Field 28 is our grass field, which we make hay slash grass into silage bales. Uh, I think this will be silage bales. Does it show me? I think I got lots of hay, and we just, I think we just fed our, our horses not long ago. Uh, I do have 504,000 liters. I think it's all in the TMR mixer. Speaking of the TMR mixer, how I sped up time quite a bit. How are we doing on TMR? Uh, over almost a blah, 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 half million, half million, and I got plenty more to go, so that's good. And I did top. I didn't want to say top off the cows. We we fed the cows a little bit. So let's hop back up here because um, I'm getting my exercise in. Uh, let's jump up here. Yeah, there's a great demand up here right now, and right now the great demand up here is for sugar beets. Uh, never mind. It's either sugar beet or potato. Either way, uh, not, I'm not doing it. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm keeping my price on the wool just because uh, randomly I would say, are these uh, 1,000 liters here? Yeah, so those are 1,000. Oh, that's uh, We'll just say like 40-ish thousand liters of, of cotton that I got. Uh, not cotton, excuse me, wool. Wool uh, that I have there. So let's uh, use the Lift Anything mod because it just makes things easier than me trying to move all these pallets around. Lately, uh, with the pallet fork, I'm just uh, on no man's land on here. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, I'm getting worse. I'm getting worse with the pallet fork. Um, it's, it's The thing that bugs me with the pallets is not getting the pallet fork in. It's when you want to get the pallet off. Uh, so so irritating. Yeah, so over $28,000 per a full pallet I'm getting for eggs right now. So I was kind of hoping to pay off a half million dollars at mid midnight. Yeah, we'll be doing that easily. Uh, I need about 70, we're just going to say $80,000. Uh, the loan payment is like 70 something, but at 11 o'clock at night, I got to pay for the horse or helper fees. So that's quite a ex kind of expensive. So I need about $80,000, uh, in the bank account, give or take. So right now I probably look, we're looking at, uh, paying off $600,000, but we got all that sunflower to sell at some point, uh, waiting for that price to go up. So I'm probably going to advance time here just a little bit. Um, like I said, I hope it just rains through the night and not during the day. Although it is nice to do farming once in a while in the rain, but uh, we can't harvest in the rain. But oddly enough, if I remember correctly, we can mow the grass in the rain, which is kind of weird. But uh, okay, I mean, I mean, you can mow grass in the rain. Uh, you shouldn't lose anything on the harvest, uh, blah, 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 and all that fun stuff. Uh, so we might be making silage bales in the morning. I already got a good amount of silage bales ready to go, but the price is terrible. Uh, so meanwhile, let's just, uh, I don't need to go in there, uh, wrong buttons. Let's just jump up to speed a little bit. Uh, let's see, we're at 60 times 60. And I need to keep my eye on the price of sunflower. Uh, so $800 in rising. Uh, I'll keep an eye on Francine. Once Francine gets done, then I can really speed up time to my to my needs. So yeah, all the eggs that are over here are now sold. And I got all these egg pallets just waiting to be used. Chickens are doing a fantastic job. Chickens in base game. Um, egg Eggs are like where, where it's at right now, it seems like... Uh, Definitely. Why? Why aren't these? Why? Why are you spawning? What? Why aren't you going in the? What? You should be going in there. You should be. Why? Why? Why are they doing that? Well, that that's interesting. Uh, all right, I'll have to figure this out here. Um, 
The one thing is I got the triggers off the ground, so I might have to move these over a little bit. Let's do that. All right, uh, maybe that should be lined up well enough now. There we go. So I'm going to wait for Francine to finish on up. Uh, some flower price, 827 is still climbing. Uh, so we're at six, time 60 speed, so it's going to go up uh, faster and faster here. Um, as for the sheep, the sheep are doing rather well. They're doing okay in food. Uh, they got a lot of manure in here that needs to be cleaned out. I have not cleaned them out in a while. Yeah, I know. I, I heard you. Um, their, their feed trough looks fine. Their water trough. I think I topped them off. Well, it must be not for a while because uh, <laughs> they need some water. There they go. They're all set. And the chickens. Yeah, the chickens need to be cleaned out. I'm only losing like 10%, I think, on production of the animals when they're that dirty. Uh, let's just go here and check on it here. Um, uh, not that one. Uh, so they are at 89% productivity. Uh, they're that messy. And the chickens are at 90%, so not too bad. Not too bad. I'll clean them out at some point. All right, sunflower. We're kind of waiting on the sunflower here. Price 844. I mean, I don't mind. Uh, just keep going on up and up and up. Uh, it's fine by me. So Francine, are you almost done down there? I know. I'm just waiting for a lot of things. All right. So she's got one more pass, full pass, and then she's going to have like a half a pass. And then, of course, I got to take care of this little bit down here. Um, so yeah, we'll wait for the, uh, no, I almost said canola. Um, got to wait for the sunflower price to finish rising up. We'll sell that. Um, I'm actually hoping the rain starts here sooner rather than later. The sooner it starts, the sooner it gets over. So I'll bring it back when we're selling the sunflower, and then we'll pay off a good, a decent amount of the loan. Uh, sleep through the night, wake up in the morning, fingers crossed. Uh, we'll have plenty of work to do up here. I'm pretty sure we'll have weeds and fertilization to do up here. So we'll have plenty of work up here if it's raining. Um, yeah, that'll keep us busy. So I'll see you in just a minute. Well, it's almost 9 o'clock in the evening. It's actually started raining just after 8, so it's been raining for like about an hour. And I already forgot what this, uh, 852, I think 852 is what the sunflower peaked at. Francine, eh, well, of course, I was running at six times the speed, so it's only been like about a minute or so. But, uh, yeah, Francine is still going to town down there taking care of the weeds. So, usually when it, I would say when it rains on the Pacific Northwest, I think it lasts for like 12 hours. So, hopefully by 8 o'clock in the morning, the rain will stop. And it looks like our crops have grown down here, which is good. Which means I can get to fertilizing them in the morning. And also weeding them as well. Timberline flour mills. So before I go ahead and sell, sell these uh, 120,000 liters of sunflowers. Let me just make sure where I'm at. Where I need to be. Timberline flour mill. Actually it's 853. So let's go ahead and dispose of these in here. So I mean that should get us. Uh, I would say $800,000 in total. I think we will get like 800,000. Yeah 800,000. We'll get $100,000 from the slow, so it'll push us up to eight hundred. dollars So we'll probably pay off like $700,000 off that loan, which is not uh, which is not too bad. Um, what do we owe left? Uh, 26 okay. Uh, just a little over $26 million. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all when we started with $55 million loan, and we're down to just at twenty-six. There's still half of a tank to go. I do like this trailer mod. Uh, if I the, if I had the tandem on here, we could hold two hundred forty thousand liters. That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot of uh, production uh, product that we can travel around with this. It does unload at a slow. Uh, well, actually, as in game trailers go, it unloads at a decent rate. As for mods go, it's on uh, the slow. Well, I don't want to say slow side. But I mean, there's one hundred twenty thousand liters. Oh, just shy of eight hundred thousand. Yeah. Well, it is what it is, um, but that, left, that gives us a lot of room up in the silo up here for some flowers. Uh, just got to wait for that canola price to do something uh, decent. Uh, get up in the 700s, just like the sunflower just did. So, yeah, we're at 800000 uh, I think we'll just pay off 700000 flat just to make it e easier. That'll leave me with like hundred grand to toy around with. Yeah, that should be good. Um, I always forget how much horse helper I got to pay at midnight. Uh, but first thing tomorrow morning that we... We don't need to do it first thing in the morning, but it will look rather good. Is we got 16 horses that'll be ready. Uh, they'll be maxed out. So, yeah, they'll give us the same amount of money pretty much as we have right now. All right, so I'm going to leave the truck up here just in case the price of canola is really good in the morning. Because, like I said, we got 200,000 liters up here. I got like 200,000 liters down below somewhere and all that mess. So, Francine, are you, are you just about done? Oh, she's taking her sweet time. Uh, I, she's only going four miles an hour, though. 
I mean, this thing was fully repaired when we started. She was probably doing seven. Now she's down to four. And, of course, the John Deere is not uh, in the greatest of shape. So the horsepower in the John Deere has been knocked down quite a bit. But that, that John Deere should have more than enough horsepower for that. Actually, how much horsepower does that weeder actually require? Uh, is it this one that I got? Uh, it requires 350 horsepower. And the John Deere that I got... Oh, man, I've got to find it in here. Oh, good, it's right here. Uh, 450. Okay. Uh, what did I say it was? What, what, what did I say it was? <laughs> no, stop it. Uh, 350, and that's 450. But, uh, John Deere right now probably has somewhere around 375 because it needs a little maintenance on it. it needs just a little bit of maintenance on it. So, I'm going to wait for Francine to get undone here. Um, I'm going to pay off $700,000 of that loan. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you bright and early. Well, I don't know if it'll be bright out, but um, we'll see in the morning. Hopefully, I'll probably fast forward time to like 8 o'clock and see if it stopped raining then. So, I shall see you in the morning uh, with $700,000 paid off that loan. Well, it's not quite morning, but everything's taken care of. It's just before midnight. Um, at 11 o'clock, yes, I did pay $10,200 in animal fees, so I going to think that's all the horse helper we do have like 34 horses so it can get rather expensive that way uh but anyways yes yeah, so as we go into our money situation here uh yeah i'm left with 90,000 and the malone is now down to 25 million 340,000 uh i was kind of curious so usually we pay well not usually uh the last time last night we paid 73 146 in loan payments uh so we're gonna sleep until well, let's go sleep eight hours. Let's go sleep eight hours. Sleep it off. Uh, the good news, the forecast is kind of showing that the sun's going to come out. So 71179 in loan payments. Oh, the rain has stopped. Uh, we do wake up with 33000 in the bank account, but we're going to have a whole lot more here in a little while. Um, the one thing is, I think Francine fell asleep last night at the wheel when she was weeding, because I can't explain this little patch down here that she missed. Um, yeah. And there's, there's the other weeds coming in. Uh, lo lovely. So this is when uh, the weeds came in. I, I half weeded this field right here. So here we are. Yeah, it's going to look kind of funny. Also up here, the Northern Plateau, we got weeds everywhere. And of course, on the west side down here, that is our cotton ready to go. So we're going to get that going right away. Uh, see if I can find... Where's my cotton harvester? It, it's there somewhere. You know what? Let's visit... Okay, I was going to say, let's visit the gas station. Uh, fully repaired. Doesn't have a full amount of fuel in it, but it's good to go. So let's get this started. Uh, we'll check prices here in just a moment. Today uh, today should be a good day. We got 16 horses to sell. So the money's going to go up quite a bit. Yeah, so at the end of this in-game day, we'll, we'll be below $25 million, which sounds uh, pretty darn good as well. And, of course, we got a lot of things to sell. We got silage bales waiting to be sold. Uh, we know the canola. Uh, whiskey. Uh, yeah, matter of fact, the whiskey factory is probably full of whiskey again. Of course, we got our horses. I, I, just, it, it's, it's gonna, I think it's going to be a good day here on the farm. If I pay attention to the pricing and everything goes well, um, maybe we can pay off a million dollars at the end of the day. Whenever that may be. Of course, it's going to be a while because we got we got a lot of harvesting to do. Well, um, we'll find out here who's going to be in the vehicle. It's either going to be Francine or Frank, right? It's one of those two. All right, let's go ahead and hire a helper. Uh, someone in there. Uh, it's it's Francine's sister. Apparently, um, she'll do a fine job. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look. Uh, so canola prices on the rise. I'd like to see that. Uh, so we can probably sell some of that today. Cotton pricing. Uh, nope, that needs a change. Uh, so I won't be selling cotton at those prices. Uh, what did the wool get up to? Seven ninety eight. Mm, I'd like to see a little bit higher. What's the milk doing? Uh, the milk's not doing anything good. Uh, wood chips at the bioheating plant. That needs to go up quite a bit. Uh, what's it doing at the barn? The barn is rising, 184, so we'll be selling some of that today. Uh, that is all good. Uh, what about the whiskey? 898. I'm guessing I'm wrong with the whiskey pricing because, I mean, the low prices I'm seeing, like five, 600. So maybe it wasn't a thousand. Uh, the wine, though. Oh, I forgot about the winery. I forgot to empty that out last night before I went to bed. That, that's a no no. Um, 
yeah, so let's go ahead and do what we need to do first of all to get all the cash. Uh, but what I actually actually should be doing here before I forget, because I'm going to, is I did fix the John Deere last night. Where is that? It's right here. Fix the John Deere and the weeder. I said start the engine. Uh, let's get uh, someone down here weeding right away. Uh, what side of the field has the high end? So the farthest away there. So I'll get the weeder started there. Uh, I'll grab the Voltra and the Northern uh, Plateau, and we'll get to weeding those as well. Uh, the weeds started coming in last night somewhere around 9 o'clock-ish. So, yeah, I just need to go ahead and take care of those before they hit Stage 2. But let me get some people hired, uh, and then uh, we'll be in our Chevy pickup truck, bringing over some horses to be sold, and uh, buy some new ones as well. Well, we patrol has started the John Deere's back to work. Weeding field 32, 34, which is right over here. Uh, the Voltra had to put the narrow tires on that up there because it looks like the crop was actually in the second growth stage. Um, it's kind of hard to tell with some flowers. I looked at them like, is that first or second? But I said, ah, let's put the row crop tires on there just to be sure. They're taking care of some weeds up there. They'll, won't be, uh, they'll be done here rather quickly in, the, in each field up there. And then we'll set them off to fertilizing those fields. Don't want to fertilize these down here. and These are all set, two stages. I probably also, when I got the cotton harvester going, I should have got the, the Crone Big M out. And they could have started mowing the grass field. Because uh, I do have a course set up for that field. Hopefully these horses don't mind going a gazillion miles an hour. Uh, I do like this truck, but at high speeds, this truck turns worth a crap. And I expect the trailer to clip the bridge up here like it always does. Will it do it again? Of course not, because you guys are watching. Usually coming up that side of the bridge, for some reason, this trailer will... It bottoms out and clips the bridge, and it will just stop you on a dime. Uh, at least with this setup here. And I do have the trailer at the highest point. Careful of our cotton. So our money is about to go up pretty darn good. But then again, i got to make sure I buy 10... Uh, I think this holds 10 horses. And that paddock that we have holds 16, so... Usually two of each is what I do. Did I just go past? I did, because I'm an idiot. <sighs> I'm just driving around in circles. But with this thing, this truck, yeah, we, we, got, we got the speed to go anywhere quick. All right, horses, I didn't even really know you. But uh, you're all trained, ready to rock and roll. $50,000 a piece, uh, be gone with you. And we'll confirm that. Well, there's $500,000. Uh, that's that's always good. Uh, let's come down here and we'll just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yep, 8. Um, I'm not going to get a full trailer that way. I got one of each. When I come back, I'll get one of each again. Just makes it easier for me. All right, bring these horses, put them into the paddock, grab the other six horses I got left. Come back and do the same thing. Yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to get these horses all nervous on going to their paddock by giving them one heck of a ride. All right, here with the rest of the horses, let's go ahead and get rid of... Well, get rid of those. That sounds so mean. Uh, <laughs> sell those. And let's go ahead and buy some new ones. Make sure I get one of each, just because, you know. And we will confirm that. There we go. So, yeah, back up to $752,000 in the bank account. What a way to start the morning. It's looking good here in the farm. So, yeah, definitely get the loan below $25 million by the end of the day. Um, I think on the way back, what we'll do before I bring the horses all the way back to the paddock is we'll get the big crone M out and we'll get uh, course play started on cutting this grass field here. Helper E has completed her task. Uh, I'm going to guess that's the John Deere worker. have no idea, but that would be my, my guess. Let's grab this beauty here. Oh, wow. You need... Um, well, you know what? We got the money. Let's go ahead and give this thing a good tune up here because, uh, yeah, it, it could use it. Um, might be a little expensive, like three grand. How much is it? Uh, well, that's not bad. $2,354. Let's go ahead and just repair that. I mean, does it really need it? Yeah, not so much. 
I uh, probably should put the HUD display on because I want to make sure it's on uh, swath dropping, which it is. And we'll start this here because I really don't remember where this course starts. Uh, let's go ahead and load this course here. Uh, nope, looks like I start over there. It looks like my truck is going to be in the way. So let's back them up over here. They'll be fine. And I got this on nearest waypoint. Uh, start at last point or next trigger. That should be activated because I don't want you going around and... Oh, I had your first waypoint. Nope, not yours. First activated. Uh, you should be good to go. Fire up the motors there. Did you? Did you? All right. Why? Why aren't the? Why? Why aren't you mowing there? Why aren't you mowing? All right. I'll turn turn you on by myself, man. I'll turn you on. That's not. That sounds wrong. Um, <laughs> we'll turn on the blades. All right. Now, if you drive course, are you are you all set? All right. Are, are you sure? Are you, are you good to go now? Can Can I leave you alone? I hope so, because I got silage bales I want to sell later on uh, at some point. Don't know when, but it'll be sometime today because the price is going up. All right, let's bring these uh, horses on back, and then I'll have to grab a Volvo truck. I think we need to go visit the winery and probably the whiskey. Oh, I forgot about the bales that were there. Oh, hang on a second here. Hey, let me help out this worker get around the first, because <laughs> I put... I knew when I put the bales there, I kind of forgot about it. It's been a couple days. I'll take care of this mess, and uh, I'll meet you over uh, with the Volvo truck at the factories. Whiskey and also the winery as well. Well, got all the horses back. I got the Voltra, Frank on the upper plateau. He's in a different field weeding. Uh, apparently, when I did the copy of the, uh, did the course play for the grass field, I think I got the mower going right past these all the time so I need to get rid of the not rid of them but I need to move my silage bales because it, well it's gonna be a problem uh, not pallets uh, large square bales let's turn that on yeah I'm gonna try to help melt quickly as I can here actually I approached this all wrong I need to swing it in here wide hopefully I can grab all these He can continue on. It should be one bale floating around there. There we go. He's all set. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and put these down because I don't want them at... Well, wait. Did the price stop going up is the question. Let's go look at the silage. Uh, there it is. Uh, nope. Better not go... 185. Good, good, good. Uh, let me go ahead and do that, that, that. Unload those there. There we go. Should be all set there. Now, uh, I need to put this back on... Mission pallets, no, not lumber pallets, egg boxes, cotton modules. Uh, there we go. There we go. So, yeah, definitely need to go to the winery. The winery is just sitting there not producing anything at the current moment. And that winery, I should be really focused on because that winery does produce uh, it, grapes and wine. And uh, the prices there are so much better than what we had before. So, there's a good pile of whiskey waiting to be sold. Here's some grapes. Let's go ahead and uh, yoink those all out of there. And then I'll turn this off here. And then we'll... Uh, close enough. I knew that might do that, but that's fine. It's all good. Just as long as they're in the same pile, that when I come by and auto load them up, they're ready to go. Uh, let's go get the wine out of there so this can uh, fire back up. Yeah, when I put this in here, I thought, oh, this is great. Then I kind of made a mistake. Like, I didn't get myself. Uh, oh, no, I did. I got to turn around here. Um, almost out of manure and water here. So I need to take care of that here pretty soon. So after we take care of the whiskey factory. We'll go ahead and uh, 
come back here, top this off with some water and some manure. Right, let's go ahead and... There we go. All right, on to the whiskey factory. Get the whiskey out of there. I'm pretty sure that's nice and full. So right now, um, these pallets I'm emptying out, we'll, we'll sell them sometime today. Uh, like I said, I would like to get up to a million dollars. Should be able to between the silage bales that we have. Uh, we usually get like $160,000 per uh, a harvest on a field. So I got one harvest there. So yeah, that's going to be like three hundred grand just from the silage bales alone. And then of course I'm going to have all this stuff here. All this beautiful stuff. Yeah, this is this is good and full. All right. Uh, greenhouses are good for a while. Yeah, the sugar factory, it's not like the old one. The sugar factory I had to keep up on. Uh, now it's like uh, every day and a half, I'll keep an eye on it. So definitely the sugar beet. Uh, probably won't be planting those for a while. I mean, I got a, I, I got whatever's in the, I got whatever's in the factory, which I think is over a hundred thousand liters, and of course we have a half a million liters in the silo. So I'm in no rush to be planting some sugar beet, which is fine. Uh, I'd rather plant the cotton at this point, anyways. We're making money, uh, however you want to look at it. Uh, what was I going to do next? Oh, that's right. Uh, let me drop off this trailer here. Let's go get the water tanker, and we'll get the the winery up and going. Uh, I got some helpers that are done, apparently. Uh, let me guess. The John Deere and the Vulture are probably both done. Uh, I'm not sure why you think you're done there. Why? Why? I don't see. This is what. Why would you stop there? You can't see the weeds in front of you. Are you blind, man, or woman? Whoever was actually doing the weeding here. Uh, do I want to get these little bit of weeds here at the end of the field? You know, if I don't, it's going to annoy the heck out of me. Uh, how much weeds you got left over there? All right, so a little bit in the far field and most of the field needs to be weeded. Uh, of course, I'm going to take care of this. So uh, step one, I'll take care of this. Uh, then the vulture will be next in the upper plateau. I'll get Frank moved around. And then we'll get to be back over, over taking care of the factories. Because this is going to take me a while. Seven miles an hour. At least I can sit here and drink some water. So many things going on on the farm this morning. But uh, in a way, we kind of got lucky with the rain just coming at nighttime. I mean, we could still could have done a lot of the weeding and fertilizing up here today. But, uh, but now it's not raining. Uh, we're getting the harvest done. You probably may have seen that uh, we're going to need some lime over here. Um, are you just about done or what are you doing? You got one little strip. Uh, I actually got a module out of that field, so I'm, that, that's pretty darn good. Uh, our modules here are 40,000 liters, so that's a decent amount of cotton off this field. Um, what was I doing next? Oh, yeah, where's my Volvo truck here? Uh, yep, last step for this episode, I do believe, is taking care of the winery. Make sure that's up and going for the rest of the day. Uh, we're kind of low on everything there. And uh, yeah, we'll grab some pig manure, which is starting to build back up again. Now that we're getting uh, enough cows to take care of fertilization over on the east side, I don't have to keep swapping back and forth once in a while with the pig manure. So we'll start stockpiling that up. So many things to do here in the Pacific Northwest that we got. You know, I got the potato washer, which <laughs> that's going to take me forever to take uh, get all those potatoes all taken care of. Right now, the fields are my main concern. Potatoes, yeah, we'll, we'll get to them when we get to them. There's the other part of my Wilson trailer. Uh, that's got to have like 80,000 liters of potatoes in it. Wa uh, excuse me, not washed. Premium potatoes. That's right, I said potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes. I forgot how much water you do take. Whoa, slow down there, cowboy. Fill that on up. Like I said, I think right now the wine prices were actually going up. I know we just looked at it on the bar. Uh, silage is still going up, which is good. Where is the wine? Uh, yeah, I'm waiting to see what agro wholesales goes for because right now the best price is six fifty two, which is pretty darn good. Yeah, the whiskey. I'm thinking I misread uh, those prices. And just remember, I am on hard economy, so 
Um, if you got the same mod, it's like, oh, my whiskey sells for so much. Uh, we're in hard economy. So maybe uh, that price is not too bad. I, the problem is I'm getting a lot of it, so at some point I have to sell it. Uh, these are the old grapes. I do have some of those to sell, and these are the new grapes, which look at the price difference. Wow, it's huge. Um, yeah, so almost $1,000 at the bakery, so I might sell some of those. And uh, what's the premium potatoes going for? Four seventy four, which is not not great, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, the egg prices today, well, we expect that to go down. Um, how much milk do we have now? I know I, can't, I look, but uh, you got to look once in a while the cows because it's every 12 hours. Uh, so 350,000 liters. And let's see, we got 80, uh, 80 times 4 is, well, 320 cows is what we're up to. That barn does hold 500, and if the series goes on long enough, we get up to 500 cows. Well, we may put down another cow pasture uh, somewhere and uh, just get some more cows. Uh, so no no more horse sales for at least, it looks like, six days. I think six days is what we're at. Um, are you done taking the water? Uh, yes, you are. So 50,000, no problem. All right, so let's go drop the trailer off. We'll fill it up as well. But we'll grab our Volvo uh, wheel loader and grab a good scoop. It's going to be a couple scoops of manure to bring over to the winery. So let's go ahead and get that get that taken care of. And then um, my next job that I'll be doing is I'll be in the T8 probably and making some grass bales. Uh, I can load up the course play and let that take care of it. But uh, we might do that. be doing that next episode. Uh, is that filling up? Looks like it is. Uh, wheel loader is behind me. Hopefully there's no potatoes left. Hopefully it, the machine took them all. It did. Yeah, at some point uh, we'll rip through these potatoes. And actually, when I get done, I, I don't think I'll do potatoes again. Uh, not premium potatoes. If I do potato, well, yeah, I probably won't do potatoes again <laughs> on this map. Uh, let's just put it that way. I'm actually coming, going to come over here and try to get some of this manure that's outside the box. Just to try to make it look a little bit cleaner around here. Uh, although I can't quite turn around in here. you think I would be able to. If I can only push down that fence line and just, like, because the, the winery is, like, right there. I mean, it's not that far of a drive around here, I know, but... Uh, Make life so much easier. Yeah, let's just top this off with some manure. Like I said, keep the winery going. I, I keep forgetting about the winery for some reason over here. I, I don't know why. Uh, but sometimes you just get so concentrated on other things. Uh, yeah, you forget certain things. And this is something I should not be forgetting. This produces rather well, just like the whiskey factory does rather well. As I move the cotton harvester over from one field to another... So we got that one module, which we know is 40,000 liters, and I got about 10,000 liters in the cotton harvester now, so not bad. 50,000 liters of cotton off that field. Uh, someone else has finished work. Um, how, how did you miss... What is going on with my workers missing weeds? What's wrong with you people? Uh, it's so hard to find help these days. Uh, meanwhile, back at the winery... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was... Uh, dumping that in there. I'm like, oh, wait, the cotton harvester should be done. Let's get them moved on over. So yeah, we'll probably definitely work on the lower west side over there by the cotton fields. Um, Got to spray some slurry down, some lime down. Uh, I don't have to plow anything, but I do have to cultivate, which is not a big deal because uh, the quad tech and that cultivator just speed right through that, so it shouldn't take too long to take care of that. Yeah, it's trying to... Uh, I went by the uh, T8 a couple times and it's kind of weird now just I hate to say it's weird to see the T8 and the New Holland colors, but it's been so long, it's been that that uh, lime greenish color. But now it's back to its original New Holland colors. It's proud to be a T8 now. Right now, I'm just kind of waiting for the, the Crone Big M to finish up its job. We'll get it off the field. And, um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be kind of going around taking care of some things... Uh, but yeah, next episode we'll probably be starting off maybe wrapping up some silage bales or I'll be making grass bales. Uh, yeah, just watching prices go everywhere, helping out workers as much as I can. Uh, like in the upper plateau, I gotta go take care of those weeds now that I, I don't understand why he, he missed all those weeds. I don't, I don't get it. It's like, what's the deal? 
What is the deal with you people missing weeds? So I probably got a couple more buckets of manure to place in here, which is not a big deal. But uh, it's good to go for a while. Um, how's the big M doing? That's doing fine. All right, so we'll finish off by coming up here and helping out uh, the worker because uh, they are morons. I'm not sure why. Uh, lately, in this, I think this field is one of them. And of course, now i got to find out where the weeds are. I think it's here. I do have GPS installed, so I could use it if I wanted to, but I'll just... I'll just follow the sunflower rows and uh, we'll see how I do. I can still see them, so fingers crossed I'm getting them good enough. And move him on to field number four. Man, that's a big strip of weeds that you missed. All right, so how did I do? Uh, good enough. I mean, I got to turn around and go that way anyways. So there we go. So not only did we pay off uh, 700,000 last night. Um, we're starting the day with already 750,000 in the bank account already. So, not too bad of an episode. Uh, we're going to dig into that loan a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And before you know it, uh, it'll be all gone. It's going to feel weird when we get that loan down so much, and uh, especially when it's gone. It'll be really weird. All right, so I, I do need to fold this up to bring up the field number four. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you next time right here on the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.